So people, are you starting a second, third or fourth character but don't want to go through the long process of ranking them up to a level 50? Well then this is for you people. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you enjoy it, leaving a like truly helps me out and subscribe if you want more Borderlands 3 videos. Also, I'm giving away copies of Borderlands 3. To win one for yourself or a friend, simply subscribe and make sure you have notifications turned on. Drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. Okay, so using this method, it allows you to literally rank up a level 1 player to a level 50 in literally no time at all. It does however require a friend who has a level 50 character and has finished the campaign so they can play Mayhem. So this is how it works and you guys will witness me playing with my pal with his level 1 flak ranking him up through those levels no time at all. So me being the helper, the level 50 player, you have to quit out of Borderlands making sure the game isn't running in the background and then disconnect from the internet. What you then want to do is load up Borderlands, making sure you are playing on that Mayhem 3 for maximum XP gains, which makes the process miles quicker. Then you want to head to Ambermere Rogues Hollow on Eden 6. When you spawn in here, turn around, jump out of this broken window and head down to your right by this cave, the Four Billies Cave. On my way! <sighs> All you want to do here is kill one of these. So kill a Billy. Then just simply quit out of Borderlands back to the main menu. From the main menu, reconnect to your internet. Once you have done this, you will see that notification of connection active on your screen. Then quickly play and continue back into where you just left out. Once you are back in here guys, you will get a notification to update the game by quitting out to the main menu. Do not take the update, do not back out. What you then want to do is invite your low level friend into your game. Once he is in, you can then go back and kill those billies for increased XP gains. And because your kills and the XP gains shares across with your friend, they level up stupid quick. Once you have killed the billies, you can run around this map killing the other enemies if you choose to, to earn easy XP. Or you can fast travel anywhere you like, like Graveward, it doesn't actually matter. What you can't do is though people quit out of the game back to that main menu. This updates the game and takes away those increased XP gains. So let me explain to you what's actually happening here. Initially when you are starting up Borderlands offline you go into a state of increased XP from literally every way in the game. So getting that one kill initiates the process I believe. Then when you quit out to the main menu, reconnect to the internet and quickly continue back into where you left off, the game still thinks you are offline for about a minute. That's why when you get back into where you left off, the game offers you an update. Doing the game updates removes the offline XP gains. That's why I state do not do the update, just cancel it off. That's also why I say once you are back online with those offline XP gains on, do not back out to the main menu as the game will automatically update itself. So once you are online in a state of earning those offline XP gains, invite your friend. Because if he joins your hosted game, he also earns offline XP. And obviously being a level 1 player, he can't do this by himself because you need to run through the entire story to unlock mayhem. Now a super important thing to note here is do not spend any guardian tokens you earn while you are getting that increased offline XP. I repeat, do not spend any of those tokens, those guardian tokens you earn while playing and getting increased offline XP because if you do, when you eventually get back online, the game takes away those guardian tokens you spent while earning offline XP. That's why so many of us have dropped into negative guardian tokens, which by the way, I also have a fix for and you guys will find that linked within the video description. But yeah guys, doing this will level your friend up so quick it's unreal. 
and you can do more than one friend at the same time. So invite three low level friends if you want to, that's completely up to you. Even if you die, even if they die, you still earn offline XP until you back out to that main menu. That's where you can fast travel to other instances. I will state though, you can only kill each boss once. For instance, if you fast travel to Grave Ward, the normal way to farm him for that XP would be to quit out and come back into the game. You can't go out to the main menu because you'll activate the online XP, cancelling out the offline XP you want to earn to level up super quick. So fast travel to Grave Ward once, kill him once, earn the XP, then fast travel somewhere else. If you try and fast travel back to Grave Ward from somewhere else, he won't spawn. And it's the same with every boss in the game. So just travel about, kill those bosses, kill those enemies on them planets, earn that increased offline XP on Mayhem 3, it's absolutely stupid amounts you earn, and do what you gotta do people. This method is miles, and I mean miles quicker than running through the entire story. I mean, you can probably get to a level 50, and I won't exaggerate here, you could probably get there in probably half an hour. Half an hour to 45 minutes on the right planets with the right bosses you're killing, you will pretty much get there before you know it. So yeah guys, use this while you can because it won't be here forever. Now I have seen another method which takes you into the circle of slaughter or proving grounds, but for me, matchmaking, I always end up in somebody else's lobby, taking away my offline XP gains. So if you can somehow find a way of keeping your offline XP gains and getting into the circle of slaughter or proving grounds, you will earn a ton of XP in those places too. But for me, I couldn't do it. So yeah guys, do what you gotta do to earn that offline XP. And on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leave a like, it really helps out. If you're new around here and wanna see more Borderlands 3 videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never wanna miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.